Hey there, fans of brotherly love wrestling. It is I, Vic Delicious. Philly's own, the Mecca here. It is the real McCoy, J D X Justin D Xavier. And it's your man, CD, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Hello, boys and girls. This is your old friend, RJ City. Hey there, brotherly love wrestling. Bill Carr here. Hey everyone, this is two-time guest Wheeler Yuta. Two bozos from Philadelphia flapping their gums about pro wrestling this, pro wrestling that. Which is not that unique in the grand scheme of things yet. You are in for a treat because you're tuned in to Brotherly Love Wrestling. Philadelphia, are you ready? This is Brotherly Love Wrestling Podcast, your first stop for everything professional wrestling. So sit back and enjoy wrestling talk at its finest with your hosts, Larry Hall and Joe Corrado. Welcome everybody to Brotherly Love Wrestling. Are you, are you awake? Ready to go? Ready to go. Yeah. So uh, on the show this week, I do want to talk some TNA. Okay. Hard to Kill. Okay. Pay-per-view from this past weekend. All right. Uh, start with that because um, I was able to watch the entire event. And uh, I don't know. I only want to say surprising because I thought this was going to deliver. I'm pretty sure you said it. Well, no, just surprising of people showing up. Yes, yeah, there were surprises for sure. Um, they do those pretty well, huh? They do those pretty. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. TNA is pretty good. Uh, they do a good job with that. Um, and I think because a not a lot of people talk about them or expect a lot of things from them, so it's easy to keep surprises in TNA and in, in, in impact in the past. But uh, the matches themselves before the surprises. Um, the hardcore match that they had, or no DQ match, whatever the hell you want to call it. You had Tommy Dreamer dropping the title to Crazy Steve, who came back to TNA. Uh, so he is the digital media champion, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I've never understood that Pretty title. The internet title, isn't it? Basically, I guess, that's what digital media would be. Um, but that was a really brutal match, which you could obviously imagine with Crazy Steve and Tommy Dreamer. Never been in a hardcore match as of late. No, oh, no, not at all. No, 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 no rookie at those kind of matches. Yeah. Um, Why well, he's just getting into it now? It's beyond me. <laughs> uh, you had Jordan Grace defeating Trinity, which I was yeah, kind surprised. of yeah, I was kind of surprised as well. Saw that as well. I think uh, Royal Rumble. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Why I... not? Triple H's got full control. He wants his peeps back. He wants the peep show. He's gonna get Christian too. <laughs> that I uh, for sure I do not think is happening. Chicken. Um but I'm kind of uh, Where are my peeps at? I'm kind of glad a, a little bit that Jordan won. She's like I said last week, she Triple is Triple H was fucking Cornerstone. There. Triple H was at TNA? Yeah. He was at Hard to Kill. Was he? Yeah. It was well, it was a blurry. It, it, let me put this out there. <laughs> let me preface this by saying it was a blurry photo. And I don't know what the source was, but I heard he was there. And this is a rumor story. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, but I didn't I hear heard, that or uh, see that. But uh, Sasha and uh, Bailey were and there. Bailey, yeah, there was actually photo yes. evidence of that. They were there. They took a picture with Jordan Grace in the back. Yes, they were there. Photo evidence of that. Yes. Um, but why were they there? To support Trinity, of course. To bring her back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, this is also how rumors start like this. Yeah. But uh boss time, baby. <laughs> Feel the glow. Um Feel the glow in the rumble. She get a substantial pop. <laughs> Isn't it is it in Florida? Uh the rumble? Yeah. I know it's in a stadium. <laughs> like a, a, a baseball, <laughs> a baseball stadium. Oh, you know what? It's in it, it's in Tampa, yes. <laughs> It's in the the Devil Rays Stadium. Yes, I know it's in a building. I said a that stadium. Can seat people. I said a stadium, not a building. <laughs> a stadium. I know it's at a, a venue. No, I, I believe there will be there will be concessions where there. the uh, where the Rays play. I believe <laughs> is where uh, Rumble it's is. Kind of cold there. Wait, they got the dome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they always hit the dome there. 
Yes. Yeah, they have the the dome seems to have a very uh, low ceiling. Low ceiling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have to worry about a low ceiling for wrestling, but watch someone up to the ceiling. <laughs> Where's Kalisto um, at with the fucking needle? <laughs> Uh, but I mean, the world title match you had Moose versus um, his name is escaping me. The world fucking champion Alexander. Um, no, it's not no, Jesus Christ! I can't believe I I can't think about who the name is. Alex Al Shelley, Jesus Christ! Yeah, Al oh, Shelley. Alex Shelley. That's right. You said that last week. Yeah. Um. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you think after watching the pay per view, I'd fucking remember who the world champion is. But that was a solid match, Moose. He always impresses me because of where he came from and how far he's come as a professional wrestler. No he's doing this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm glad he won. He good for <laughs> good for that, him. That was about it. But I think the real story after the match was who showed up behind them was Nick Nemeth. Yeah, he comes out and Don't say, Don't shut your mouth. Look, you, look. If he he's wants here to, to show the world. <laughs> he's here to show the world. Come on. He's Dolph Ziggler. If he wants to have if his name... If he wants to be someone else, he can be someone else. Yeah. But he will always be Dolph Ziggler to me. Just like Paige will always be Paige. Daniel Bryan will always be Daniel Bryan. Or sometimes he'll be someone that's neither of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on what day it is and how long I am able to... Daniel Bryanson yeah. from last week? Yeah, yeah Daniel Bryan. He Edge, will always be... Edge will always be Edge. Edge will always I'll, be Edge. I'll give you... Yeah. Well, I'll give you those. There are certain people that will always have their longevity. You're right. Yeah. In one certain place has been. That's it. Yeah. I know. I, like I, if our truth were to leave and he was Ron Killings. But he was Ron Killings before he was our truth. Yes, but now he is our. He has. Truth. He has truth. lost his name. I know. I don't even know why I tried to make yeah, that work. He's yeah. now our truth. By the way, quick to it's our like truth. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch Monday Night Raw, by the way? Did you see? He's bootlegging. Did, no, yeah, he's bootlegging. But did you see when they came out? And, and he's he, peeking behind them. No, no. Wait, the, which part are we talking about? I'm, I'm trying to. You stop me before Jesus. I can say it. The graphic that they put up. You know, they oh, have yeah, the yeah. figures. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm driving. Live, laugh, love. I'm driving, and that is their slogan. Watching. I don't know what the fuck they're doing with like. They were from like. They really tried. Well, I don't know how hard, but they tried to really make them serious. <laughs> And then they're just like, you know what? I've had enough of this. Put our truth with them. Let's make them as unserious as fucking possible. But in it the fucking, meantime, it fucking works. It's, it's so, so entertaining. It's so entertaining. Like you're like, oh man, well they, these guys are fucking done. Yeah. There is not one person that can fight laughter. No, as, not with as, truth. He breaks every single, everybody, every single <laughs> one of them. Everybody. When his face popped up, and it's so out of place, and he's in this hooded thing, and it says "Live, laugh, love" underneath him. Live, laugh, love. Out loud, I was laughing. I happen to be waiting to get filled with salt, and I'm dying. He was in driving my a truck. truck ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. I was plowing and salting. Someone wasn't gonna fill him with salt, you yeah. stupid bastards. I was plowing and salting and watching Monday Night Raw, and it was. I mean, laughed out loud audibly. It was so fucking funny and unexpected. I actually got, I'm, despite there being a playoff game on at that same time, I surprisingly watched a good amount of Raw. I was, the, I was actually waiting because I know we were waiting for the main event because we were interested in Watch Binder. the whole main event. Dude, and, yeah. Didn't, didn't need to change the channel. No, no, not at that point of the game. You didn't. Um, but I was waiting for you to like text me something going on, which is why I texted you. Were you watching? Because I wanted to see if you were watching Monday Night Raw or watching the Eagles game. But uh, I was surprised. I bet you were surprised when you heard. Well, probably not. not really. No, when I when I knew what the score was, I wasn't wouldn't surprise that you were watching Monday Night Raw. But uh, back, uh, also, let's go back to TNA. Yeah, yeah. I'll there was a couple it. more people that showed up. Like I said, a couple of the peep shows. Christian showed up. No, no. Stop with Christian and peep show. No. Uh, Along with the peep show. <laughs> The uh, you're, like, you're gonna fucking text me later. I am, I'm going to. I'm gonna. <laughs> Dude, what the hell did you later. say? And it's already out of my mind. Yeah. At this point, it's already gone. It's already into the ether. Yeah. It's not coming back. Uh, hopefully, I'll remember. <laughs> I don't think I will. Like I said last week, <laughs> AJ nine, Francis. Nine forty five. Yo, what was that fucking? What was that show title? I'm like, god damn it, dude. I was like, you hit like you're well past my window. I was like, it's an hour, I'm sorry. You're an hour and a half. <laughs> hour and a half. I can't be. I can't be held responsible anymore. It's out there. <laughs> formal, formal, 
formerly top dollar, of course, showed up. Um, he's got a good choke slam. Does he? Very, yeah, I thought the same thing. He's got a good choke slam. He does. <laughs> that boy's got a fine choke slam. <laughs> uh, as well as look, Dana Brooke. No, no, no. What's her name? Ash, Ash, Ash by um, Ash by design. Ash by elegance. Elegance. Ash by elegance. What does that mean? I have no fucking idea. Ash. Ash. Is it a perfume gimmick? This is Ash by elegance. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find. We'll I get guess. vignettes of her in a boat, like in a lake with a guy. To me, it kind of looked like a this... ripoff of um of Tony Storm, a little bit. The way she was kind of she wasn't in black and white though. She wasn't in black and white yet. Um, uh, but I feel like she looks unrecognizable. Did you actually see what she looked like? She looks. She looked unrecognizable before she left. Before she got yeah, sick like because she she's had so much fucking work done. done. Yeah. yeah, I think she looks her so much. Like this. Yeah, I think she. I just don't like women when they're when they do all this work. They get they, look. It's, I think Dana Brooke was pretty without all the work, and I'm sure she would appreciate that. But, but you know what? When you get look, the same thing we said the same thing about um, NXT. Poor Jade. She's she's already started. You get yeah. into the WWE, you got to get that work. You yeah, gotta get that work done. There's a fucking limit. Like she does not I, look good. I agree. There's a limit. She looks fake. Yeah, she looks like an Ash by Elegance. <laughs> she she could be this. This could be what it looks like. All right. I mean, if it is good, I guess if she's happy, good for her. She's a plastic. As long as she's happy with herself. <laughs> as long as she's happy with herself. <laughs> wow, I gotta like it. <laughs> like I really see. Yeah. Oh. Um... <laughs> And um, it's relevant again. Yeah, it is relevant <laughs> again, even though it looks like garbage. It's, <laughs> it's it, mean girls is relevant oh, again. I love that. That's my new thing. <laughs> new thing, stolen gimmick, but new thing. My new thing. He can. Yeah. Have, this is this is recycled. This history repeats itself. Yeah. What was then is now. Always. Um. But all in all, a very very good pay per view. A lot of surprises. The future of TNA. Uh, looking good. Looking very good. A lot of talent. Ace Austin put on some size. Yeah. Yeah, Ace Austin definitely did. He's the, I mean, you look at tag team champions, him and Chris Bay. That's a good... I think I said this from the last TV taping I went to. No, I think it was TNA. But you didn't go with me. Mm -hmm. And I said then, and I stick by my what I said, and I'm not going back on this. Chris Bay sold me off because I wasn't I was not I wasn't overly a huge fan. I didn't see a huge amount of work. I didn't have a but it was like small sample size. Yeah, it was a small yeah. sample size, but it's like and he won me over that night. The way he plays to the crowd, he gets it. Mm -hmm. He's one of those guys that gets it. Now if he works his way out of TNA and goes somewhere else, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But he's always been solid in the ring, obviously. Yeah, but he's a I mean the whole I mean, given the bull club isn't the, really the bull club anymore. No. Not, I mean, and we don't even, we're not even two that can actually say that because we haven't watched it from. Well, it's not what it's not what it was. No, it's not what you it know was. What I mean, it's but not, that's when we started watching it. Like it wasn't what it was. Look, like, that was started. the most popular version of the bull club there ever was. Is when we were watching it. Period. I mean, there's the numbers don't lie. The merch that they sold, like they, they were the most popular faction in wrestling. Period. At that point, with Cody, the Bucks, Hangman, uh, Kenny. Kenny, and um, Marty. Marty, that was the uh, that and and then of course they had um, Girls of Destiny too. Yeah, uh, well, that was the other part. Yeah, that's when the uh, the split, the and fracture. All that, yeah, but like that part of the storyline, like Tom, that was. I think Tom Atonga is leaving New, New Japan. Japan. Yeah, because he wants to be home with his family more in the states. Which, what if Tom Atonga shows up at the Rumble? I'd be okay with that. I, I would too. I was upset that Fatu, that I saw in, at New Japan. Not upset, but not okay. upset. Not upset yeah. nor surprised, but. He was whipping guys' ass and fucking. I was like, man, I want that whole. I want that whole family. <laughs> I want, you I'm, I'm like, you yeah. want all the fucking Samoans. Yeah, them yeah all. They're all there. Yeah. They're all relevant. Yeah, they're all. Oh, the, right. they're, look, no one knew Solo really. I mean, he had a brief stint 
in what NXT, mm -hmm. but before that, he wasn't like mainstream. No, and he they just... say that Fatu may be the most talented Samoan that we've seen. How wasn't he there yet? Because he doesn't have the the quote unquote look. But neither does Solo. Solo has gotten has started. You could see if you look at Solo in NXT. He's trying to get WWE up. You can yeah. You see that he's if, in the way he first when he's he first came and banging. Out, I guess. When he first came out in NXT and now to now, he he's definitely his, he's, he's his brother. He definitely has he's lost some weight. He's gained some size. Like Solo has started to make that transition. Put in the work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I think I wish, and we said and you said this last week, I wish TNA was on a more substantial cable network. Um like and look, don't even have to be on cable network. Let me take that back. Like NWA now is going to be on the CW app and all their, they're going to be doing a lot of their shows straight to the CW app. Something like that would be fine. You know what I mean? A streaming app that you could get to. Put it on watch. Amazon Prime. Yes, exactly. Something like that. That would be pretty cool and it'd be huge for the company. If they could get back to like, <clears throat> it's impossible. Well, if they could get back to former TNA, we can make it like really interesting, mm -hmm. like when Aces and Eights was there, and yeah, Sting and all that. Main, main Angle, event, but Mafia, Park, Park Angle, Park Angle, yeah, something like that. Well, you could get picked up by someone. You could get. I don't. I mean, Amazon's pretty big, Netflix pretty big, but what about Hulu? Well, Hulu plays WWE. Yeah, yeah, they're part of that yeah. whole fucking scenario. But I don't know. TNA deserves to be somewhere better. I agree. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. deserve to be somewhere better for, for a while. while yes, yeah, for a while they have. <laughs> but I mean, they deserve to be in at TBS. Honestly, <laughs> somebody wants to run a fucking wrestling slash entertainment. You look what company. Scott Demore has done for that company. There's a guy who cares about it and knows what it what knows what the fan wants, but knows what's good for business and how but to run a had business. The resources. Like some others, yeah, he would be able to put on a fine wrestling show. I saw a meme that said TNA is the real second wrestling company, well, number two the, wrestling company. WCW is, but no, I mean, we're, like right, right now, currently, right yeah, now, right now, yes. I mean, you look at the height of TNA when it was at its highest. Was better than AEW or anything AEW ever did. No, they did uh what million five to two million for a certain point after uh WCW went under and all and the time frame you were talking about, they were close to two million. It's at some point. Crazy shit that <laughs> it was, absolutely. Um oh and the X Division that's the other match, the X Division title. That triple threat match. That I brought up because I, I again, X Division was one of my favorite divisions to watch. That match was crazy. Was Hammerstone there? Yes, he had a single. Josh match. Alexander. Um, yes, Josh Alexander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big. he's fucking big. He's a big dude. He, it, there's another guy who has put on massive amount of money. Yeah, he was doing bodybuilding shows, like legit bodybuilding shows. Yeah, so he knows what he's doing. But man, that guy's big. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. And Josh Alexander is not a small guy. No, but not, he, he doesn't look like it. But up against Hammerstone, he looked like it. Yeah, <laughs> like he made him look small, big. Yeah, big fucking dude. Uh, so I mean, all in all, like I said, I, mean, I like I see. I wish TNA was on a channel that I actually had. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I would watch. I would try and watch a weekly show of that. I would definitely. If, would. If they did it like an hour. Yeah. I feel with like, that talent, I feel like you should probably have. You can get two hours. Yeah. 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 But the problem is the 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 type of talent, yes, but the number. I don't know. They got we got fucking Dolph Ziggler, Naomi. People that'll fucking get some eyes on you. Yeah, I think uh, I think the addition of AJ Francis, Top Dollar, I think that's underrated. Um, he's so talented that I I feel like he's going to be a big part. I guess of he that. still gets to work indie shows too. Is just be a little bit more selective. I think TNA um, is a lot like the way AEW does and lets them do a lot of back and forth. I think with uh, Ziggler's 
contract because you saw him show up in New Japan, which we talked about last week. Um, I think he's going to be bouncing back Floater. and forth. Yeah. Uh, which and then look, Ali shows up on New Japan. Yeah, for which is pretty Chicago cool. Chicago show. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the show Born to Die that is the event before Battleground WrestleMania weekend. They just signed Matt Riddle. He'll be wrestling for that for Battleground, uh, the one Four, o'clock show. One o'clock. Yeah. Um, that which is that's a pretty big get for a Battleground. That Matt Riddle. Spend some cash. Yeah. Some quiche. Oh, look, they're going to make it back. That that show, that whole day for Battleground's huge. Uh, the meet and greet at four, from four to seven. You're going to get to meet a lot of different wrestlers that day. And then you have the tribute to the Extreme, which is shaping up to be a pretty damn good card, too, for Battleground. You got the Dudleys. Dudleys. Dudleys versus... Uh, you get some tables. The Deathmatch God, not Bubba Ray, the other Deathmatch God, um, Onita. Ah, Onita and a mystery, and partner. A mystery partner. Yes, sure. that is going to shock the world, apparently. For is going to be Onita's mystery partner. That's going to be, I can't wait. I can't wait for that event. Who's got a, who's got an electric, uh, no, gimmick? no, no, <laughs> no, don't even go there. <laughs> no. They emphasized the word shock, though. No, they did it. Oh, no. Okay. I did that? No, you did that. Oh. That was all you. My bad. Uh, speaking of shock, The Rock has signed a WWE deal. <laughs> oh, Further man. fueling the talk into WrestleMania. And not only that, I, after seeing that, I also saw that Roman is, Isn't gonna fucking is wrestle not going to be wrestling at, a, at the chamber. At the chamber, no, he's yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. He's, he's not right. going to wrestle the chamber. chamber. He's wrestling, obviously, at fucking Rumble. Yeah. Um, if there was any fucking time to take the belt off him, it's Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. It's how the fuck's Rock getting in there? How Rock? How's Rock? Is he coming out in the Rumble and winning the Rumble? God, I fucking hope not. I love the Rock, but he doesn't need to. We don't need this again. No, he needs to screw over Roman. That's what that's what he needs to do. Screw over Roman, he have him lose just, the belt. Look, we talked about at the end of the show last week, we talked about the scenarios that leading into Mania with The Rock. Or with Roman, Roman him, the title. Him, Roman, no title. Yes. Him, Roman, no title. Cody's story does not involve Roman Reigns. It involves that title. That's fine. Yeah. Fine with me. I'm kind of disappointed, man. I'm kind of disappointed. About what? Because what are you disappointed with? Nothing has happened I yet. What I just like to me, and it it might only be me. Maybe there's fans that think are thinking the way I'm thinking. I wanted Roman Cody two main event of Mania. I really did, and I thought I I wrote I wrote it in last fucking You're April right. after <laughs> he lost. Like in my book. head, I looked at it daily. That's what it was going to be, and now. Look, so if it's Cody and nobody else, if it's Cody Orton, all right. first night. Well, that it's it, look. If it's Cody, if they're setting up Cody Orton, it better fucking be first night. I don't want it. That, like I don't want them to. Where is Rock and Roman? And not to mention, you have the women's title that's going to be a main event. Yeah. Yeah. Becky and fucking Rhea. That that intrigued me more than I thought it was going to. That, was that cool. promo that was great on both ends. It was so good. They did such a good job. They absolutely made me want Becky versus Rhea at Mania. Absolutely. Which then there was a wrench in what we want yeah, Bailey to win the Rumble. Well, you got the Chamber too. True. True. Becky going over in Australia makes sense. Someone screwing over. Becky makes sense. You thinking that Becky's not going to be able to face Rhea makes sense. She's she's so much better when adversity's in her way. Yeah. That she sinks her fucking teeth into that. And really to be does. that whole fan favorite, like But Becky, is she a like, fan favorite against Rhea? 
Rhea has reached the point to where, like the the Cena point where. Am I talking about favorite? Who's going to be cheered more? I still think it's Becky. Really? I don't know, man. Becky's I, got split on Rhea, oh. and it's the Cena sucks. Let's go Cena type split. Like I think people, even though she's a heel in a heel faction, if you want to call them a heel faction anymore. Um, so here's here's what I was going to say. It's early. It is early. I say by the time, because you have to let, you got to give Becky the promo time to yeah. really, like I said, sink her teeth into this feud, this storyline, this angle. Mm-hmm. I think she talks people into being the favorite. I think the fans. It'll be hard. It, 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 she has no, no, I'm not, saying, I'm, sure. st- I'm not saying she's stealing all the cheers. I still think when it gets goes down to the match and you have a near fall, you'll have half like, oh, and half sure. cheers. Yeah. But I think louder pop is Becky. Hmm. Yeah, this, we're. Well, I think that probably holds till midway through the match. We're less than two weeks away from the Rumble. Yeah. This Saturday, we are one week away. Yes. Um, it, it, I'm just the, looking at the landscape so of a, what we have going forward. I'm there's a lot shocked. of, there's a lot of smoke screens. There's a lot. There's a lot of, there's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of what could happen. Sleight of hand is, is in play. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of room for a swerve. There's arguably three people that you don't know or what the fuck's going to happen with the Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. I mean, you lean towards one side, but then you're like, well, what if? Yeah. Yeah. The whole what if. There's big what ifs. Because if The Rock shows up in the Rumble, there goes a big what if. Like, f- shit. So if The Rock. Here's the thing. When does Roman's match go on? Do At f- Rumble? Does it main event? At Rumble. Yeah. Uh, if it main events, there might be a title change. I think it definitely main events because it's Roman. Roman, I don't remember him at time. Not but here's the thing, with though, the, with the title, if you're gonna put, if anything could steal the show from a Roman match, it's gonna be a Royal Rumble. If they start out, if they start off with the men's Rumble, and I don't mean this to be sexist in any way, shape, or form, but if they start off with the men's Rumble this year, Roman's going on last. I think regardless, Roman's going on last. I don't think it's going to matter. You know, there's a question. I don't. All right. I don't. I think that title on Roman for as long as it has been on Roman. And the main focal point. Yeah. I I think Roman goes on last regardless, as big as the Rumble is. There's been past years where they've done it here and there anyway. Roman, Roman is one to where, yes, he will trump the Rumble regardless of surprises. and, and Well, the even if there's – especially if there's a rock surprise. Yes. The rock comes out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, for the women's, we've already said Michael daily. Michael Cole is going to be going absolutely fucking Asian with this whole pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of glad. Michael Cole, he's, he's underrated as – one of the greatest of all time. Uh, I think he's getting there. I think people are recognizing it more and more. He's still not in the same conversation, I think, with most for with yeah. Jim Ross. Yeah, no, he's not in that conversation yet. I agree. But he should be. He should be, absolutely. He adds a lot. A hell of a lot. When he's invested, and it's a lot, it's not like he's that he's here and there. He gets... When a pay per view is in, I mean, he's great on on commentary on regular shows as well. But he locks in at pay per views. I mean, you look at just look at Survivor Series when Punk came back, and you watch the video of his reaction and how happy he when that pop happened, how happy he was that everyone was gotten. He was so happy and like he's air drumming to Cold of Personality and like he's just so into it. Yeah. And being that He's good far his into his career, people could get jaded. You know what I mean? Like, it happens. Or forget who the fuck's wrestling. <laughs> or forget their names or who, yeah. Where they are. But How much barbecue sauce they have on their fucking face. <laughs> Michael Cole is still enjoying what he's doing. He still has the joy and the passion for it. It's, it's obvious. You can hear it. It comes through the television when you're watching. Yeah. So that in itself is fun when you're watching. 
I'm kind of disappointed to see the moments we're going to see in night two of WrestleMania to not be able to hear Michael Cole calling it as well. Mm, but we'll be there live with a shit ton of with, fans. With, yeah, with Let's, 70. We'll be there. We'll be in Pop Zone. 78,000. 78,000 we'll people. We'll yeah. be there cheering with everybody else. That might trump yeah. listening to it on TV. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I just. There's so much that could happen, and the Royal Rumble being as close as it is now, and uh, I think they said it on Raw, like, oh, Becky said it. She was like, I want to point to the sign. And when she said that in my head, I was like, oh, my God, less than two weeks, we had to see the Royal Ru- the WrestleMania sign with the Liberty Bell on it and it in green. And I was just like, man, th- now it's time. Like, now it's right, time baby. to start to get excited, and the road to WrestleMania begins. The, the and- switch has been flipped. Hey, it's time. Yeah. I set my clocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you do you want to talk some AEW? Man, we've been on such a good roll. I don't know if we do. I know you want to go ahead. Well, look, the I, one thing about I'm, AEW I'm, coming up that we can look forward to or dread, depending on how you want to look at it, is things last match. Your favorite wrestler of all time, yeah, doing it dirty, is having his final match, and it's what it looks like. It's going to be a tag match. And it's going to be Sting and Darby against the Young Bucks. What the fuck is Sting going to do in there with the Young Bucks? I mean, it's a fucking spot fest. What the hell is he going to do? He's going to play his hits. He's going to do the Stinger Splash. He's going to no. That's not true because look, Sting for his age. Has pulled out some crazy ass spots in AEW. That's Things true. that you did not expect Sting to pull out. Yeah, I'll give that to you, but I wanted it to be a good farewell, a I fitting w- farewell. Yeah, yeah. I wanted them to do it right. I wanted you, to do them like the Michaels and fucking Flair, or the Michaels and Taker, or the Michaels and Taker. No, that was more of a good match. It was a great match. Yeah, one of the greatest WrestleMania matches ever. Like I'm not. I don't want. I don't expect that out of Sting, like the greatest match ever. True, but I wanted something with some history, some story, some. You wanted I, Surfer Sting back? No, nah, he can't. You don't want the hair pulled out. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't. just doesn't. He, he doesn't. doesn't have, he, his hair is almost gone. He doesn't. Yeah, he'd have to get so many plugs. He would. He'd have to be like uh, nah, Hogan I, in uh, uh, what the hell? Is, <laughs> what the hell is the movie where Hogan had the, or no, the movie? Yeah, he filmed the movie where he had the spiked fucking blonde hair. And he did it on the one, he had it on the one Nitro. You know what I'm talking about? Well, you got Mr. Nanny, Suburban Commando, uh, Thunder in Paradise. Wasn't Thunder. No Holds Bar. It was later. Later in life? It was like, oh, oh it was the fucking Three Ninjas movie. Yes, thank you. I was going to have to look it up. Something yeah, yeah, yeah. on, uh, something at High Noon or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Mo- montage. Yeah, movie. where he had all those fucking plugs he had yeah, the spiked yeah. hair. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. what he, that's what Sting would have to look like. <laughs> yeah, I love the Three Ninjas series. I did not like that one. No, because it doesn't fucking fit. Three Ninjas, Three Ninjas kick back, Three Ninjas knuckle up, mm-hmm. over, done. And Three Ninjas knuckle up was yeah. iffy. Yeah. But the first and the second one, good stuff. Very good. Yes. Rocky loves Emily. <laughs> Rocky loves Emily. <laughs> but back to Sting. First we feast, then we felony. <laughs> Come here, you little boogers. Those guys were great. <laughs> Sting. Last match. Yes. Last match. Young Bucks and Darby. Uh, the funny thing is, I look at what your reaction is to this, and I I immediately look back at the night we met the Young Bucks, and how you were starstruck you know, where you couldn't even speak correctly because they asked no. you where we were from, and, and you couldn't even get the words Ben Salem out not, of your mouth. It's nothing about the Young Bucks. This is nothing against <laughs> the Young Bucks. This is maybe it is because if they put themselves in the match. Then I don't agree with it. I'm okay with I'm. You would ra- would you you would rather a, a singles match? I just want yeah. I want a, one farewell goodbye. I want two good entrances. I want it to be. Set, I, I wanted I want to feel something. 
Mm-hmm. And don't, you don't think you're going to feel something? Get Darby on out. Uh, put him. If it was Sting against Darby for the last match, would that be better than this? the match that we think is going to happen? Hard to say. Would you be more intrigued, maybe? If Sting no, got I, turned on? I I don't want Sting putting over Darby <laughs> Allen as his last match. You'd rather him put over the Bucks? I wouldn't rather. I No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. We have two shitty options. Give me more options. Like there's there's more options in that fucking roster. Plenty. Yeah. Plenty more options. I would take Sting versus the Giant. <laughs> He's there. I mean, we fucking so is uh Kevin Sullivan. We could bring back the fucking <laughs> Dungeon of Doom. It, it, Brutus it, is still alive, right? I mean, some of the members aren't there no more, but Brutus is still alive, right? Beefcake's still alive. Yeah, let Beefcake come down. <laughs> what was he the renegade? The renegade. Oh no no the renegade. No, he was he was the Zodiac. Zodiac, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say renegade. No, no renegade was the right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Zodiac. Russell was the Zodiac. Bring Kevin Solid as the taskmaster, get the giant, he can come in on the monster truck that he ran over Hogan with. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I've already created a better scenario. This would at least be comical. Because it would just, like you can play a flashback in the Dungeon of Doom and then watch him come out today. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm underwhelmed by it. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the Bucks standing on the stage, and then I'm like, oh. So you felt the same way? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not the Sting fan that you are, but the guy, the career that he's had, it, it's just I feel like he deserves a better farewell. Farewell. Um, I the same thing I felt like with Here, Taker. Although thing. Taker has a has a better farewell than Sting's getting, but. I mean, yeah, took, a, took, took him a couple of turns, but yeah, but I mean, yeah, I, I, I think Sting deserves better. I feel like Sting fans deserve deserve better. Uh, yeah, they're making another thing about eight. Hey, like, yeah. bring in someone, do something. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is it is what it is. I think Tony Khan don't get it. He doesn't get it. You feel like he would though? No, I don't. I, have, I feel but, but I the, have no faith. The in him wrestling historian that he is, and the fan, yeah, and the when Jap- he when he Japan grew up, and Ring of Honor historian that he's he an ECW fan too. Mm-hmm. I question a, that. Why? I question that. Why? Because well, why? 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 I don't understand why you would question it. Because he doesn't like. He doesn't look like a ECW fan. I think he says that to try and have him show a little credibility. You don't think a New Japan and ROH fan has credibility? Mm, not with the masses. Not with the the demo that he's trying to get. He's trying to secure, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm I'm, I'm going to make this the look. This is just like ECW. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, not. it's just not. Uh-huh. Like he's got not nothing in his repertoire. Shows and screams. Oh yeah, I'm a big a- ECW fan. Mm. ECW ran a hell of a better show than fucking he did. Their numbers were fucking a shit ton better than these fucking guys, and they were barely on fucking cable TV. And they were on like Friday or Saturday nights at like eleven o'clock, New York and Philadelphia. Like, I, I just don't. I see no value merit. Well, I see the value. The value is in the money. That's about it. I don't see. I don't. I. I've literally seen nothing of worth in the wrestling world from Tony Khan. Nothing. Not one redeeming quality about knowledge of wrestling. He's shown that he's a complete clusterfuck and a scatter brain and whatever else you need. And his decision making is terrible. Terrible. And it took no time at all. So the minute he goes out on TV, you lose everything. Like, who are you trying to cater to? You think the fucking, the, the majority is going to sit there and be like, yeah, this, this is entertaining. This is what I want to watch. 
you'd be lucky to get 300,000 people that fucking watch that guy and be like, yeah. Well, look, they pull in seven to 800,000 people for Dynamite every I feel like week. Those, I feel like those numbers are fucked too. I feel like your bias against AEW clouds like, your judgment. I feel like all the numbers are, are fudged. Where? <laughs> because they go off of, like, everything's through, like, streaming, DVR. Like, no one watches anything fucking live anymore. The live TV numbers show seven to 800,000. There's what it is. I, you can find it hard to believe all you want. Oh, that sorry. that comes out of every week out of the Nielsen rating system. I feel like Tony Khan's got so much money, he's got a little uh, scone in <laughs> Nielsen's pocket. Anyway, okay, I'm really trying to prove a point here. Can you fucking bump those numbers up 200? Look, I'll give you 300,000 for Rampage and Collision. Oh, that's a, that's God. about what it is. <laughs> that, that's Rampage, about... I would... Four people. That shit's garbage. Rampage? They don't even care about Rampage. All right. Well, let me ask you this, then. Sure. Tony pays for Rampage. You don't fucking make no money. AEW goes away. Okay. Bring TNA back. TNA's already back. All right. Bring TNA back to the masses. What do you think happens to wrestling if if AEW goes? Don't think anything. Really? Don't think anything. You, I think it's forgotten about in five years, honestly. I think no one... You think the world of wrestling doesn't change if AEW fucking think, goes under? I think the indies get a lot better. I think the indies fucking flourish. I don't... I don't know, man. I think it hurts. I, I think it hurts wrestling. I don't think it hurts viewership. I, I really don't. I mean, you're going to have those people that you're going to spread 700,000 people and they're going to watch wrestling that they want to watch still not going to be the wwe is not going to pick up any of these numbers but you're going to keep some wrestling fans and you're going to they're going to watch wherever their favorites quote unquote end up like i don't think i like honestly i don't get the whole rah rah thing for the companies that i never have like we've gone over this probably in episode 200 like the whole cheerleaders for the company is like, oh yeah, I, I, like I support AEW. I'm with AEW. Like, if they change their name, like, it, like all it is, you're just ch you're just changing with that. Can you just be fans of like the wrestlers? Like, you're not gonna buy, like you're buying an AEW T-shirt to support the company instead of the wrestlers. Uh, I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm yeah, that that's just, a tribalism thing that that it's everyone it's, talks about. Yeah, it's fucking it's weird. It's weird behavior. Yeah, but when your favorite wrestlers are on that company, I felt, that's I feel like people were so anti WWE that anything could have, and they would have just been like, "Yeah, th this is the best thing in the world." Like well, you could, yeah, it that, could, it that's how been, it, it could have been midget, it midget mud wrestling. I think they would have been like, "Yep, I'm all in." My favorite fucking guy. Munchkin pukes a lot. He's in there. Um, <laughs> Suffice to say, I don't. I digress on anything AEW that comes up. Because everything that comes up, I like. I just don't care about. Honestly, I just... like Every piece of news that comes up from AEW, 90% of it to me is just like... I feel bad that a company, uh, I don't even want to say because it it's not the company. Uh, I no, feel here, bad that Tony Khan well, here's the has thing, scoured you yes, on so he, much wrestling. Because he, does, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Like the whole, nothing to take away from the legacy that Taz has and whatnot. But the whole hook thing, the promo people were saying, they loved it. It's so good. It was five, five out of 10 at best. It was, it was. As the kids would say, mid. <laughs> like, I don't think it was that great. And I'm not saying, like, to. I just don't think it was that good. Like, I, it, he doesn't, quote, unquote, hook me mm -hmm. as, like, someone that's like, yeah, they're on the, the up and up. They got a great personality. They're, they're like, I don't get it. I don't get where the popularity comes from. Well, look, and we've said this about Darby as well. I don't get where that comes from either. Yeah. 
But well, I get that more because he's just a crash test dummy, and people like to see a fucking train wreck. Yeah, like people love to see that. I mean, that's what, exactly what he is. He's a fucking crash test dummy. I think the thing that gets me the most, like, stumps me the most, I should say, about your disdain and uh, it's not lack of caring. Yeah, I should say it's more not of disdain, lack of more of giving up. Yeah, lack of caring with AEW is. The amount of wrestling styles that you like, the broad stroke of wrestling that you do like, that where, and I'm talking from technical wrestling to enjoying GCW to enjoying WWE to at one point enjoying New Japan, Ring of Honor. I still enjoy those. I just have no, no, no. time to watch them. I, no, I know. I'm not Except saying you don't. Ring, Ring of Honor is different. I'm it's just not it's not Ring of Honor anymore. Well, no, but I'm just saying, as far as the scope of professional wrestling, you're not a very picky person. If wrestling no. is good, you're if there's something that like I enjoy, it. like if yeah. they're doing something I enjoy, I'm all for it. I feel I like know... you're still missing on a lot of good things that AEW is doing because your and lack I, of care. I will say that. Yes, the things that are bad outweigh the things that are good there. The things that I enjoy get squashed because when I turn the TV on and I turn it on, I'm seeing something stupid that doesn't make sense that I don't like. I don't care about mm -hmm. like legitimately, and I'm just like, all right, I'll play this game, I guess, and I'll switch back and forth, and I'll always end up missing maybe the just, things that you do like because it's just it's not interesting enough to keep me like focused or even locked in remotely mm -hmm. for more than a few minutes. Like, I still love Orange Cassidy. I love Brian Danielson. No, did I do it right this you time? You did it. Did it right this time. Good job. Like, Daniel, he's just Daniel, Daniel Bryan. That's all there's to it. Yuta. I mean, I've never been a Mox fan. No. I mean, Cesaro fan, was I that big of a Cesaro fan? No. Did I think he was really good in the ring? Yes. Do I still think he's really good in the ring? Yes. But, I mean, the matches are pretty much the same. He doesn't have any, like really intriguing storyline. I'm not saying I don't like them. Claudio. Mm -hmm. I mean, the women's division just is, it's just not there. It's just not, not really that entertaining. Like they don't really, they show that they don't really care about it. So why am I supposed to be like, wow, yeah, I care about it. Yeah. Like you don't even look. You like care you. about the talent, but yeah, they're not the talent, but they're, they're not being, you, they don't presented, utilize. presented. Yeah. The way that they deserve to be presented. I like Adam Cole. Like I like a lot of the people that they have. Samoa Joe. I love Samoa Joe. He's like pretty much the same. Like he's just who he's been for ever a fucking long time. Yeah. He's pretty consistent. Yeah. But what they usually have them doing, the half ass storylines that they're running, the fucking now all of a sudden you want to start making the, the record count again because it fit your narrative to try and bash WWE. Like, come on now. I don't like that's like, like Hook having whatever record he has, like. Yeah. And you're going to find out tonight the drawing power, quote unquote, it's not going to be there. He already said it's going to run over. So I only have to watch the last couple minutes. You only have to tune in at 9.55. If that. Because yeah. it's going to run over several minutes. So I can tune in at 10 and still catch what I need to catch. I don't care. Like, and this is for WWE too. The matches itself, I care less about. I care about the angle, the storyline. What I mean, Royal Rumble's different because it's cool. Mm -hmm. I love the Royal Rumble. Yeah. But for the most part, matches, if they have a good storyline, cool. I'll I'll tune into the match. I'm there for the whatever happens pre-match leading up. Matches what it is what it is. What happens after? I'm intrigued in that. Which which way they're going to go next? And me trying to think about, oh man, this would be cool if this happened or blah 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 blah. I don't have that in AEW. I don't have that like whole like what if like it's been so lackadaisical. Like I don't have that whole like oh man, this person's done. Like who the fuck are they going to go to next? Because Samoa Joe just won the title. Oh man, like who's he going to get? Hook really? This isn't the United States. This isn't the United States Championship. Where Cena would call out people and like bring up and comers that's the mid card title like the whole like this is the, the title this is the main focal point of your company and this is what this is the move you're gonna make i mean say what you will about jinder mahal former we already did this fucking scenario <laughs> former champion yeah 
He's in there with Seth, Seth fucking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins. <laughs> Rollins. <laughs> this whole sh- and then you have a cash in. You have a potential cash in to throw into the mix. Yeah. So it just bundles up the intrigue even more. Like AEW just doesn't have that what's next. Like their their what's next isn't intriguing enough. Like the storyline going into it is kind of iffy at best. The match, I don't care. I already said, I don't care about the matches. Yeah. I've seen enough matches to be like, ah, these are great matches. Like, I lived through the best matches, like the most exciting matches. I lived through that era, I think, because the story was there. The match was great. The ending was great. They had a bang, bang, bang. One, two, three. Everything was good. AEW's whole approach at what they want to do, like the numbers matter and we got to do tournaments and shit like that, done. And that takes up a bulk of their TV time, too, when they do shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the more tournaments they run, the tournaments, the women's division. This is, this is what we got. Until the Owen Hart one comes and they have the women do the And then they Hart. fall off again. Yeah. Because it's like everybody else. Everybody else in that company just falls off. I just feel bad that you miss out on... A lot of the stuff. Don't feel bad for me. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> the truth is, I've never left you. <laughs> I'd be surprised I got that one. I'd be really surprised if anybody got that one. That was a deep cut. <laughs> I didn't even sing it. I said it. I, I, I don't know. I just, I hear how disinterested you are in AEW. Every time you bring it up, I'm just like, it's, what, it it's not even gonna make me mad anymore to the point of where like because I've already been mad like I th- like I've already said my piece just, on that. It's the second, it, like regardless. No, it, no, it's, it's the, the second, second most watched wrestling show. Yes, and you're right about that. The problem is for me, it's not geared for me. It it's was. literally, it's literally not that's, geared for me. That's and the I'm main okay thing. with that. I'm not gonna force it. Like yeah. it's not, it's not, it's not made for me. Yeah. But other things, or like, anyone in our age bracket. No, no, there is. Like, there's probably some people in our age bracket that are, are fine with it. That's fine. I don't care. But I know what I like, and I I'll will gear myself towards that. And the thing is, I like almost everything else besides AEW. And I'm okay with that. I'm honestly okay with that. And the whole Sting final match thing, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that I don't like it. That I'm not okay with it. That I'm disappointed with it. I'm not surprised. That's just part of the norm with AEW. And that's what it is for me. Yeah. For me. Yeah. I Like, other people excited about it, that's fine. People that grew up like me watching Sting and he was their favorite, if they're excited about it, they're good for them. That's fine. I'm not. <laughs> the, and that's just, it is what it is. And I, I know a couple other people were, that are of my and your age range, possibly a little bit older, not my dad. He's definitely not a little bit older. Yeah, I know. I would, I would definitely throw him under the bus right away. Someone 35 years older. No, I know that because I know he had me. <laughs> I fucking hope so. <laughs> but anyway, no, I've talked to other people that are just like, like it kind of, it's like I would have rather had Edge. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I agree with that. I would have rather had Edge too. I don't care if there's no history. I don't care if there's none of that. But at least I would have known what it was about to get made. Like the, the Bucks storylines are corny. They are. I like the Bucks. But their storylines and their angles and their promos, that's corny. I don't know. Edge would have made it more interesting. No, I know. I get it. I, I mean, know. it sucks because you got to, you got, the funny thing is that you bring up the AEW and, and I still end up fucking hogging all the time about it. The, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, that, I could, I could carry I already that's, that's our care. show. That, that's what our show is. Yes. Like, that does not bother me whatsoever. What can I do to get Joe, st- that's basically what the show is. I'll bring up the topics, I'll do the homework, I'll get Joe started, and then I'll just sit here and, well, and yeah, fucking I mean, listen. Yeah, exactly. Like, do the legwork so I can do the fucking, uh, the showmanship. Yeah, but I mean. He's good at this, fellas. The, the, the thing is, ladies like. And, ladies and gentlemen. I, mean, I, I feel like, I don't know. You feel for happy. people that well, for people that watch our show or listen to our show, whatever one, whatever, however, however, however you consume they, our show, absorb it. Through like their, I nostrils. feel, I don't want, I don't want. You don't to want to come off as like, the show that hates AEW. 
I mean, look, I, I don't hate AEW. Uh, but, like, I don't want WWE to dominate our show. No, that's fine. Also. Either. You know what I'll do? I'll do. I'm not only doing fucking homework. I'll start watching the obscure stuff. That's uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah. And that way I can bring something of knowledge and actual, like, positivity to the show. Okay. I'll watch things. Like I said. I haven't gotten to my New Year's resolution yet. I got to get on the fucking the IWTV. That's part of my plan. You know what? I can find a I can find a day. I know I can mm -hmm. where I yeah. can do this. And I think that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna watch some Beyond Wrestling because I've always loved Beyond Wrestling. Yeah, I've always loved what they've done. I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna get into the GCW again. I think I'm past GCW. Yeah, I think you are. Uh, I I I I can see that. I, I mean, I know personally. I'm kind of past GCW. Yeah. Not that they don't put on great shows, no. but they do. But, but I feel like it's, it's kind of like that same thing. To, I like I'm, I'm looking for like a variety, mm -hmm. variety hour type. The, well, I, I wish they would bring the mask wrestler back. Uh, I mask, love that fucking. That was awesome. The and mask wrestler about, concept. That COVID. That COVID area of creativity of shit that came out. There was some pretty good stuff. There was. I want people to go back and like actually like think about like. Well, like, force what, people to like what wrestling was doing. At that time, when they couldn't run any shows, and you were getting like all these cinematic fucking things, and promos were like, if, if, <laughs> this is gonna sound funny, but if AEW could do the promos like the wrestlers did, like the vignettes and shit that they did during COVID, like use that as your model, because that shit was awesome. It was, and you got the money to back it, where you can actually make like cinematic fucking promos and whatnot, just to have the right people do it. Yeah, between what Ring of Honor was doing, Ring of Honor, was what great. what uh, the stuff on IWTV that was coming out, uh, the Mass Wrestler obviously being probably the number one thing I, in yeah, COVID that wrestling I, that I remember. Yeah, I think that was my favorite, just because it was cool. Yeah, it it, it just you were going off of the Mass Singer, you were going off of stuff like th that. Did we it, ever get to talk to you about that? We did. Did we? Yeah. Um. I can't remember what episode number, but it's called the one with the wildcat because that was his gimmick his in there. Persona. Um, we talked to him right after that. That's Actually, right. That was the second time he was on. Yeah. And that that show that was a really good show with Yuta. Like that. That was right. That was like almost right before AEW. Yeah. Um, we talked with Yuta with the table for four, which was fucking was one awesome. Of, one of my favorite ones that we did. But to really find out about Yuta and if. I mean, you hear it every time our intro comes on. He's a two-time guest. That show, the one with the Wildcat, is a great show to find out about Wheeler Yuta. Because he just... It, we get through his entire upbringing, not in a boring podcast way, but just... <laughs> I like how you had to say that. <laughs> shooting. Well, I mean... Listen to this, but it's not a boring podcast. No, I, I mean, it, it, you know what I'm saying. Like, oh, being, yeah, where did you train? And who was your favorite wrestler? And all that bullshit that we try to avoid. It just... Marry, but, fuck, kill. <laughs> I don't know if that was in there. That was definitely in there. But, Go back and check us. But yeah, no, I mean, we or you to, at that that episode was really good. We get to, You get to find out a lot about... The mass wrestler and him talking about it, but a lot about Wheeler himself. Um, but yeah, that was a it was actually I might go back and just listen to that because That's good for idea. that reason. Um coming up next week we will be the go home show before Rumble. Yeah. Um no, I, I what don't bring up AEW next week. It's gonna be a happy show. It's the Go home show show for it me. will be okay. It will it's going to be a happy show. It will you know be, what I'm going to do? I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch some AEW. That's what I'm going to do when I get home. I don't believe you. No, I'm going to go home and I'm going to turn it on. And then you're going to turn it off. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we will see what happens. Maybe I'll be one of the you don't even... thousand viewers. <laughs> Seven, but it's <laughs> it's nine fifteen and you don't have it recorded. That's true. By the time you get home. Well, you'll be able to get to see the end. Yeah, there we go. There you go. You'll be just in time for the just end of the show. Just in time for the end of the show. <laughs> and I'll be able to judge the whole show just off of that. Oh, um, my goodness. I wish you weren't so... Me? Just... <laughs> I, wish that... I wish you the, the, the wind hadn't gone out of your sails about AEW, honestly. Uh, I need you to talk me back into it, then. I... 
Not I right can. now. Not I right can. now. I, I honestly, you don't have I, to do it right now. I think we're past. Show. Yeah, I think we're past the point of no return with AEW. That's with the you. point of no return. There's been a lot of music references. That's on okay, show. man. There really has. We're we're a entertainment business. Um, we're not just a wrestling business. <laughs> 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 sure um shout out to uh our buddy uh black g's uh recovering a little bit had a uh minor mishap well, yeah major mishap major mishap but he's all right and so uh shout out to black g's get better soon and hope to see you in the ring very soon uh other than that i mean i we have the one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year coming up and a lot of mystery. Evolution is a mystery. Uh, yes. And with uh, speaking of two weeks out, two weeks from, actually from today, today's Wednesday, we will be doing our post-Rumble show with a guest and, an, and our announcement finally that we've been talking oh, about yeah, for yeah. the last couple of weeks. So that is coming up after the Rumble as well. So something for our show to look forward to. This is going to be a good show, I think. So yeah. We'll... Yeah, absolutely. Pre and post rumble, good shows. Very good. If you're gonna start anywhere, do pre and post rumble. They're just good shows. That's what I think personally. Okay. Yeah, I bring my A game for pre and post. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, whatever. Today was probably about a B minus. <laughs> might have been. Might have been borderline C plus. <laughs> That's only because AEW was mentioned. That's why. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we it hope was you... pretty positive up until that point. You were, though. I you was were. very positive. We yeah. go back and check tape. Well, you were. I did rock yeah. in high school. You were. football. Uh, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching and Stanley listening. Stanley, see. <laughs> and we'll be talking to you very soon. How Thank soon you. is very soon? <laughs>